What's good, y'all? It's Miles from Without Warning, and we back with another full podcast episode from the boys, Miles and Joey. It's been scary hours recently for hip hop lovers. Big debates going on. Drake, Kanye dropping. Nas just dropped. We're waiting on. Everyone's really waiting on. Drake and Kanye, Certified Lover Boy and Donda. The top dogs. What do you do? You want to take a side on what you're more excited for? The top dogs. I think without a doubt, I'm a. I'm just a bigger Kanye fan, so I'm a little bit more excited for Donda, yeah. but I'd be a liar if I said I wasn't anywhere near hype for what Drake's going to put out. Yeah, I think it's just like, it's dope to just be a hip-hop fan in general right now, because when two big dogs like that are dropping, same time, especially with like the history that those two have, it's just dope to see. If they drop same night, like would I, it, like it's just so hard, like when you're saying, who would you listen to first? If Drake and Kanye dropped, it's such a tough question, bro. It's, it's it's just so hard. It's literally trying to pick between, like, fucking Reese's Peanut Butter Cup or fucking Hershey's Bar. Like, you want both of them shit so bad. And dudes are saying they might be dropping the same night. Yeah, I don't... I mean, like, just, like, knowing the music industry, that's usually not the best route to go. I think just, like, Drake was kind of, like, just, like... Put it out there. Kanye's got a big drop. You know, Kanye got to get his two cents in, and so does Drake. But I think they'll probably drop different days. If it, like, what is it, Donda versus Certified Lover Boy? I'd have to look at the track list first. But just, like, that Donda track list, bro. Like, it might, I don't think it's unmatchable coming from Drake, but it's going to be very, very hard. Just track lists. I think Donda is looking crazy. I think definitely after just us being able to listen to a bunch of the tracks on there, it's going to be both production-wise. Just creatively, bro. Creatively, exactly. Just as a whole, it's going to be a lot harder for Drake to put out something the same quality as Kanye, but I'm definitely looking forward to it. Yeah, I would. I'm just like curious to see like sales wise what's gonna happen. Like I wouldn't definitely never put it past Drake to just come out with two number one, number two songs on the Billboard, even if he drops same week as Kanye to get on Billboard, Hot 100, etc. That do, like I'm not saying that necessarily means quality's gonna be better, but if I had to take my bets on who's hitting the charts higher, I bet you there are some Drake songs that are hitting higher than Kanye songs. That's just. I think that's kind of a given. I think it really depends, though, because if dudes are gassing that one Kanye track, bro, it could hit top charts. I think Drake is going to sell more regardless, just because his market share is just yeah way larger than Kanye's, mm-hmm. and his music just hits way more people. Yeah, like even he- if you look at their old sales, I think you don't really get a good say in it, but I think Jesus is King, Dark Lane demo tapes sold around the same amount. Like mid two fifties range, something like that. But if you even go back, like Scorpion sold like eight hundred thousand first week. It's one of the best selling first week albums we've seen in the past like five years. Then if you go back to I guess a more comparable album to Scorpion for Kanye would be T Lop, right? I'd say T Lop's ah uh, But just like in recently for having a big like, yeah, piece of workout. For sure, yeah. You could definitely you could definitely see And I T-Lop. think that was like five hundred 600k around there for first week sales so i think there is a good shot drake will outsell him i don't really want to put numbers out there yet but like i'm kind of thinking for certified lover boy i'm kind of thinking around like 450k mark and then donda maybe like 350 to 400k the weekend is like of last year he had the best first week sales i believe with after hours sign 400k because nowadays in the streaming era bro Sales are hard to come by. With everyone on streams, that just, like, getting streams to actual sales numbers, a lot different. Very difficult. So I think it'll definitely, like you said, it'll go to see, like, how Drake maneuvers with this project. Like, who he decides to work with. Fucking, it seems like right now Kanye's outdoing what Drake does is pretty much just being tapped in with all just the upcoming artists, the next... Who's up next? Who's hottest? I don't know, bro. I think Drake's I think like an authentic me, dude, though. Like, I'm, I would he, think if he would be like, if if Kanye's got his grasp on the shit right now, he's got it. Like, you would just, like, tip your hat off to stuff like that. Like, if you can go to Mercedes-Benz Stadium with three-day notice and sell out the whole stadium for the entire world to come into, sell it out on a three-day's notice twice, you just got to be like, 
he got it. Like, fuck it. He def- that Going back to what I was saying is basically, like, he has these artists like Fabio, Cardi, Cuddy in a different bag than Drake ever did, in my opinion. Like, Drake did not get a Fabio verse like that for Dark Lane Demo. And Drake certainly did not get anywhere close to the quality Cardi gave Kanye yeah. on every single project they've done together. So I, I think it'll be very interesting to see who Drake decides to recruit for some features. Yeah, for sure. I'm hoping it's not like a really OVO inside job. Like, as much as I love the artists in there and stuff like that, now that I think he's definitely saw what Kanye did with his project, and just with that competitive nature, bro, he might have just went double time on Certified Lover Boy. Like, if once shit like that happens and you're that competitive of a dude with the history that those two have, if I was Drake, I would have had to be like, bro, 40, we got to... Get in the stew. We Dead gotta, ass, bro. If we I gotta would, get all the people out. Best they got. Put it on the track. Bro, Straight up. If I was Drake, I'd be like 40. We're scrapping the album. Back to the drawing board, because that was some shit, bro. And I, I know Drake, like you said, just tipped his hat off to Ye, because that was some nutty shit. Yeah, because, bro, that if you take it back to just those concerts, and just, like, he was giving out merch like that, the whole Donda scene going crazy, like, that's a moment in hip-hop that's gonna be kind of hard to match. And you just, like, pick your battles. You don't choose the fight with that one you gotta get in the lab get right because he's got the caliber to do so there's not many if anybody in the world could even compete with a donda type album from what i was hearing one one place where drake can definitely compete if man's is slamming the club bangers yeah he is just in the club being played by every fucking radio station just being spun miami la new york you never know. Hey, that's what I'm saying. Like, it's sales like, add up, bro. This dude for Scorpion had Nice For What, In My Feelings, and God's Plan as, as the lead singles. for, And those are, like, some of the best-selling hip-hop songs literally in history. Highest stream. Nutty. So, like, if you... And when he just dropped his EP of Scary Hours, he went one, two, three on the charts. Like, he, I'm pretty sure it was... Did Wants and Needs go number one, or was it What's Next? What was the song with Baby? Whatever the song... Wants and Needs... I feel like maybe, or what's next? It was either one of those, two, those went number one and two, and then Lemon Pepper went three, but that was just a little EP for Scary Hours, bro, and those three songs were hard. They wouldn't be some of the best songs on Donda, in my opinion, if you take off the best tracks from that, but that was just a little EP, and he gave us a little taste. I feel like he's gonna come different with Certified Lover Boy. I really hope he does, bro, because 100% Scary Hours, three great tracks, obviously, top three on the charts when they dropped but they're not ranking anywhere near in drake's discography you know bro, yeah. he he's got to really dive deep into the birkin yeah and he, i think it's going to be more about features because these two compete at the highest level in hip-hop and just making music in general so when you see something like the track list that kanye's putting out and the quality that he's getting out of those artists like roddy Witt, roddy rich went crazy baby keem that's probably the best song he's ever made in all honesty Fabio Foreign on a different level. Cardi was going absolutely crazy. And even, like, people like Vori and shit like that. Like, that shit was bringing the album to a whole nother level. Like you said, Kanye was bringing the absolute best out of the best for people. I haven't seen Travis go that hard on a verse since literally Stargazer. That's what I'm saying, bro. I don't know if these motherfuckers were at Area 51 getting some different type of fucking... That's that presence. Super, bro, the, I, the creative environment, there must have been a different level of just yeah. energy there. I feel like that's the same for Drake's studio, though. If you fly, if you in Toronto like that, in the studio at 40, Drake, and you like you hearing what Drake's putting out there like that, because he probably does it effortlessly. Like, nowadays... When he hop in the booth, the flow is just on some shit. The beat selection is going to be on some shit, too. Like, 40 and them in the studio know exactly what beats to give Drake. And the, just ones that he could serve up and just hit out the park every time. But you need features to compete with that track list. And that's the last thing that really brought up. Like, who do you think... Because they, they, they said there might be a Kanye track on the album. Like, what features do you think could bring this one out? Because I think you got to, if they're having Kanye, you got to have Kanye. Got to make another, like, sicko mode type big track with Travis. Mm-hmm. And the other one I would say, for me, I would say you should also bring Cardi on the track. If he's doing features like that. And probably Lil Baby again. All very interesting. One artist, I'm surprised you didn't name, that I'm going to name for that list. 
ASAP Rocky. I think if, if Drake is able to get Rocky out of his bag, like, Rocky hasn't put out anything too huge in a while since Praise the Lord was probably his last biggest song, would you say? Yeah, probably. So if he, he was on the, um, he had one track, I forgot what movie it was, but like on one of the soundtracks in like 2020 or earlier this year. Mm-hmm. But as an actual like hit, people would say Praise the Lord's been the latest. And that's been three years. Yeah. I think, uh, you could definitely see the weekend OVO XO. Bro, weekend Rocky, all people, those are both artists people are fiending for more content from. Yeah. But I also think people are just straight up fiending for Dr- Drake to rap again. Like, if you're reading it, it's too late. Rap yeah. again, like, it's what a time. Like, people want to see that hyped up Drake, that in the bag yeah. Drake. Like, we know you can make pop songs. Mm-hmm. Like, because you could go two ways. Like, when you think of a certified lover boy, you could kind of think of something like more of just like an in your feelings type of thing or just like a sad boy type of ordeal. Or you could just go like, you're the man. Like, on some just like cocky shit. So there's like two ways, and you don't really know which is going. Like, the way Scary Hours kind of sounded, it looked like it was more of that like Drake talking his shit, not really Drake like giving you love songs type shit. Exactly. So I think it's might be, because I think a lot of people are thinking it's going to be like a Marvin's Room doing it wrong type thing. There might be a track like that or two. But like, I think he's going to be in a Duffy, bro. He's going to be talk. I think he's going to talk his shit way more than be on that soft type shit. I thousand percent agree. I think Certified Lover Boy is more like his, it's going to be more of his future type feel. You know what I yeah. mean? Yeah. And I think that's like, like, I feel like it's kind of like more of a pun to how people like look at him in the rap game as like that Certified Lover Boy type thing because of his early on days with the more R&B sound. But I think he's just, like, owning that demeanor and giving him what, like, next level shit that most rappers can't do. Deadass. Drake on his toxic vibes now. He's yeah. he's dating basketball moms, buying out baseball stadiums, eating yeah, dinner bro. with them. My man, he's moving Merch on different. just chrome hearts, like. Moving on different timing, bro. Yeah. I think this is going to be dope. But as the single last question, bro, if let's say they both just drop crazy projects, do you think people will put Kanye under Drake at all because I feel like the general consensus right now is that not many people would tell you that Drake's better than Kanye I just kind of put him in two different groups you know like I think Kanye is just like the best I want I want to say that like just like overall hip-hop person alive but when you're talking about commercially like just being that guy it's like that's Drake but really down to the core production music everything Kanye's got that on lock, and as just a figure, Drake is, like, different. I 1,000% agree. Like, I think Drake, since he's came out up until now, has been the most successful rapper yeah. out. Most sales, most streaming numbers. Kanye, I feel like he has been the most impactful rapper since yeah. he's came out, if that makes sense. He's just altered his sound he's altered the the modern sound of rap in various different ways both on the production end Mm -hmm. and on the vocal end so they definitely are goats in their own right for the two best comparison is just like mj and mj lebron LeBron, mj was just all about the game he revolutionized the game took every single piece of it put his all into it and that lebron came out and was just the biggest and best like on God, capitalizing God. on everything that was like built before him so like that's like really the best comparison you can really give it so it's really a coin flip forever who you want and it, for people that like try to make that argument in your head and shit i would just say whoever you listen to more there's probably a reason you listen to him just a little bit more but that's just me. And I would say I listen to Kanye a little bit more. But that those are like my one and two most listened to artists. For a fact. And I think if I'm putting together an all-time list, wherever I'm I'm slotting both of them, they are very, yeah. very close to each other on the list. To me, I, I agree with you. I listen to Kanye way more than Drake. But Drake you can't take away the accomplishments. Go in his own right. 
So that was the episode. If you made it to the end, we appreciate y'all. Like, comment, subscribe, and ring that fucking bell for the boys. It goes a long way. Let us know who you think will sell more in the first week and what album you want to drop the most out of the two. And like I said again, we appreciate all y'all for being here. Like, comment, subscribe. All our links will be down in the description below. And we out. Peace.